Versatile robotic caregivers offer an opportunity to benefit millions of people worldwide, including older adults and people with disabilities. Physics simulation provides a unique environment for robots to learn how to interact with people without putting real people at risk. We present a new approach using virtual reality to evaluate and improve simulation-trained robot control policies that physically interact with and assist people. We implemented four simulated robotic caregiving tasks into a virtual reality interface, including robot-assisted feeding, drinking, bed bathing, and itch scratching. The simulated human model in VR has 20 controllable joints, including two 7 degree of freedom arms and a 3 degree of freedom head and waist. We use the VR headset to control the head and waist joints of a virtual human and the handheld touch controllers to track and align arm movements. We trained control policies for the PR2 and Jaco robots using deep reinforcement learning. We tested the policies in a VR pilot study and revised them by making the simulated biomechanics better match people in VR. We then tested our original and revised policies in a study with eight able-bodied participants. Across all participants, we observed that the original control policies for both robots consistently failed for several of the assistive tasks, exposing a difference in the distributions of human biomechanics between the original simulation environments and real people in VR. We then conduct a biomechanical analysis on data captured from virtual reality and find a statistically significant difference in biomechanics between people in VR and the simulated humans used to train the original control policies. We then compare performance between the original and revised robot control policies. Based on objective success metrics, we found that the revised policies significantly outperformed our original policies and that our improved biomechanical simulations better matched real people in VR. Overall, our results suggest that virtual reality can be used to efficiently improve simulation-trained controllers for robotic assistance without putting real people at risk.